What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, my name is Big Fry, and shout out to the Fry Nation. Guys, we're taking a look at a game called Last Survivor, it is described as a multiplayer battle royale game with MMO features and a melee focus. It's being made by the guys at Original Games, the game is currently on sale for 15% off at $14.44 Canadian. So this is a battle royale multiplayer game, and I, listen... I've heard murmurs in the community before I've even got a chance to play this. The developers did set me up with a key for this game. So they actually gave me uh, a few keys. I gave it out to my, my stream team, the Fry Nation, and uh, we're here playing this game. But if you look up here, two players in the, in the region. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna hit the play button and I guess we're gonna go solo. <laughs> All right, we're about to join in here waiting for players. Let's go. Oh Ouch, so I I can't even play the game. I'm about to drop some real fucking knowledge on Indie developers who are looking to make a multiplayer only title on Steam, whether it be early access or just a, a regular Steam game, a fully fleshed out product. If you're going multiplayer only and the only enjoyment can be banked on the fact that I have to have people playing the game, you need to market the game. And I understand marketing campaigns are brutal. So what do you do? You guys gave out a lot of keys. You gave me seven. I gave that to my boys. I asked for one. You hit me with seven. If you guys are willing to do that, and it's not that I don't appreciate it, but if you guys are willing to do that, why not Why not start free to play? You make, you make some cosmetic items to keep things moving. Crates like H1Z1 and all these other fucking games are doing. You make it free to play and you get the base built. You get people in to try it and if the game is good, they're going to stick around. They're going to play more of it. Once you have that core fan base built that are willing to ride or die beside your game, you start reaching out to, to bigger streamers. People who stream H1Z1, people who stream games like Miscreated and DayZ, you reach out to those people, the influencers in this community, the people who will play this game on stream and hopefully get you guys more sales if the game is good. Right now you have a barrier of entry of almost $15 for a game that you can't even play. I haven't even played it and I can't play it. So. Now I'm going to write a review or make a video review saying don't buy this because you can't play it. Which is now a catch-22 situation because I'm telling people not to buy it because nobody's playing it. If I tell people not to buy it, that means they're not going to play it. It's, it's a vicious cycle that you guys have now got yourselves in because you started out on the wrong foot right off the gate and it just killed your product. Before you went to Steam Early Access, you needed to have alpha tests that were open to the public. People could sign up on a website and you could do it like that and start bringing the interest to the game. Nobody has heard of this game. It just hit my fucking table the other day from somebody who is really in tune with the community. Shout out to Road85. I'm going to put his channel down below. Check it out. I appreciate it, man. You hit me with all the good tips. These guys completely fucked themselves off the gate. So if you're an indie developer out there and you're, you're, you're looking at this, you need, to, you need to take notes. You need to start gaining interest in your product months in advance. Before you are even ready to hit Steam, you need interest garnered on your product and if you don't you're going to fuck yourself because there are so many games coming to steam every day it's nothing for somebody to just skip this title it really is you need to bring that interest you need to bring people in and you need to build your foundation of players before even hitting steam early access and that's just a simple fact. You can look at this game and realize that they made a mistake. They have just posted today that please, the, the title of their post is please don't buy it. 
There's no online now and nothing to do. That's how it starts. We have an excellent plan for the restart in the next couple of days or 10 days. Release was a big mistake and we are sorry for this. They go on to actually admit that release is nothing without marketing and promoting and that is exactly what I'm trying to stress. If you're an indie developer and you're making a multiplayer only game, you need to get people on board ASAP. Show the, show the product, let them know a, a rough estimate on when they can get into it, get them to sign up on your website, on the forums and get them involved. And that's how you're going to do this. Last Survivor, I believe, has already shot itself in the foot, but we'll see. I'll come back to it when, when we actually can get into a game. But I'm curious to see where they take this to try and recover and try and bring this back. My name is Big Fry. Shout out to the Fry Nation. It's it's games like this. I, I'm kind of glad that it happened. Obviously, it sucks for them. But at least we can look at this and, and learn a lesson from it. You know, as I know a lot of indie developers watch and come to my streams, this is something you guys should look for. Especially if you're making multiplayer only. I'll see you guys on the next one.